In this lecture, we're going to learn about shipping point determination. Now, before I talk more about the shipping point determination, let me show you where you can find this field in the sales order item. So here, if I go to the system and if I open one of the existing sales order, when you select the item and go to the item details, under the shipping tab, you will be able to see a shipping point. This shipping point is determined automatically and this is must if you if you want to carry on the further transaction like creating a, an outbound delivery. So system should be finding this shipping point automatically and that depends on the customizing setting. If I press F1 help on this field, you can see saying that this is a physical location, for example, a warehouse or a collection of loading ramps from which you can ship the item. Now we can discuss further about the shipping point. Shipping point is the org unit that, it is, that is responsible for the shipping processing. A shipping point is must if your company sells physical products that have to be delivered to the customer. The following function are dependent on shipping point. For example, delivery scheduling, route determination and delivery creation. Now these three, to, in order to complete these three activities, system must have a shipping point for the order line item in order to perform these three function. Now we'll talk about these three functionality in the next videos. Shipping points are assigned to the delivering plants and that's a menu path for customizing of the shipping points. So shipping point is basically here in the picture you can see that's our delivering plant and we need to send the goods to the ship to party or to the customer via a specific route. Now for this delivering plant we can link different shipping point as I just said before that shipping point can be a warehouse or can be a loading ramp. So within the delivering plant there can be more than one location from where of more than one warehouse from where you can send the goods to the customer. So those are called the shipping points. Now in most of the cases, most of the scenario, this is one to one link. That means the shipping point and delivering plant are same. For example, if in our system, we created a delivering plant as SDS4, same is the shipping point we create, which is SDS4. But in some big companies, there can be, as I said, more than one shipping point with from the same delivering plant. So we can also customize that, that I'm going to show in, in this video. And the formula for the determination is basically the shipping condition, which is coming from the sold to party and the material from where, where you can find the loading group and the delivering plan, which is determined either using the CIR, like we have learned in the previous video, either system can find from the CIR. If it's not there, then ship to party. And the third priority is material master code. So delivering plant from there when these three combine so in the customizing we can say that okay for these three specific combination this should be the default shipping point now before i show you the customizing let me show you the shipping condition and loading group in the master data delivering plant we have already seen in the previous video so delivering plant which is picked up in the sales order item that will be considered but for shipping condition let me show you the shipping condition first So if I go to the transaction BP and here we you need to go to the sales SD sales and distribution tab. You must select this FLCU01 role and go to the sales area tab and under shipping, you can see shipping condition here. You can see there are different shipping condition and for different combination, we can create different customizing that will find the different shipping point depending on what is selected here. So we got standard pickup immediately, etc, etc. So for example, if for standard system will pick up one specific, uh, one specific shipping point, but for example, if customer is going to pick up, then in that case, we can put up a different shipping point 
which is a part of the same delivering plant. So depending on this, we can have different combination, but this shipping point is used in your, in your shipping point determination. And also the shipping condition can also be there in the sales document type. I will talk about sales document type and its customizing later on. But for now, if you go to transaction VOV8, which is for the sales document type customizing, you open the order type OR. And here you can see the customizing. As I said, we'll talk later on. But for now, here you can see under shipping, you can see shipping condition. So you can also maintain the shipping condition for the sales order here. If this is maintained here and in the customer master as well, this will take the first priority, whatever is there in the document type. If it's not here, mostly it's blank here. That means whatever there in the customer master, that will be the then only taken for the calculation. So this is mostly blank here, but in some cases can be some value here. But if there's some value here, that will be the first priority. Now, other, other thing we need to consider is the material master. I'll open one of the material here and here you can see loading group so here loading group is crane if I open that there are different combination like crane forklift manual or we can customize other stuff if we need but for now when is 001 there for example or we can also call it 001 as standard in the customizing we can customize whatever we like so for 001 combination, we can have one different uh, shipping point and for another combination, we can have another different shipping point and same goes for the third one. And delivering plant is, as I just said, which is picked up automatically in the sales or item. Now, if we, if you want to see the customizing for this combination, I'll go to SPRO and here we go to logistics execution if you open that under shipping under basic shipping function and under shipping point and goods receiving point determination here you can see assign shipping point so here before i show the assigned shipping point you can see define shipping condition for example if i open that you can say these are the settings here which, which you can see in the bp in the when you see the business partner master data here you can create another one if you want for example we got 01020304405 like that so we can, i can create another one say called z1 or i can say for example courier and i can save it so that's another setting you can maintain if you want so we can maintain so many settings as we like so let me go back and same goes for loading group. You can create as many as loading group you want. And here you can see assign shipping point. When I open that, so here you can see, for example, if you look at, let me scroll down. If you look at this combination, this one, so you can see when this combination occurs, for example, when shipping condition is zero one, you can see shipping condition zero one. And when Second thing is loading group is 001. Then, and the plant is, delivering plant is STS4. Then system should propose the shipping point as SDS4, right? So th th that's why when I create the sales order, because of these three combination are matching, system is finding the shipping point. But for example, if I, and there's no other setting for 002, I guess, let me scroll down if there is one. I think there is one. So because this setting is automatically copied when we customize the plant and shipping point because we copied from the standard 1710 plant. So system copied everything that linked to that 1710 customizing. So this is all automatically copied and but here we can come and we can change it. Same goes for, for example, here if I show you This second combination, say th that's also here, this one. When this is zero 01, when loading group is zero zero 002, system should find this, and this is the plant system, system should find this STS for a shipping point. And 
that's how you can maintain different setting for example if shipping condition is say 0 to and let's select this one this is 0 to this is 0 0 1 and this is SDS for system should find this one right so we can do that but I just want to sh show you this setting for example let's let's test this one if I select this one then I can or what I can do I can copy this one and it copied I selected two of them that's why it's copying two of them let me go back and start again because I just created a new shipping condition Z1 so I want to show you this combination so you can either copy if you copy that make your work easier or you can click on new entry and you can manually enter the data I can select this one I can click on new entry and I can say okay sorry not new entry I need to copy click on copy and here I'll change it to say Z1 when one of the business partner has Z1 as a shipping condition and this is a delivering plant then propose the plant as I'll just change it for something else for now but again just say it should be ZZ13 for example let's say this one if I save it and we'll test it here so what I'm going to do I'll change the business partner I'll open one more screen I'll go to BP I change click on change and here shipping condition I will change to Z1 which I just created and I save it now if I create the sales order system should find the ZZ13 as a shipping point let's have a look and here I enter my product code and here enter the quantity set 10 so here if I double click on it if I go to shipping you can notice this found as ZZ13 that's what that's how you, the customizing works there's one more thing here in the customizing if I go back to the customizing this is a proposed shipping point and there is another manual shipping point that means th this is the this is the one that system will propose but manually you can change it to something else for example you can change it to STS4 or whatever but if for example if I try, try to change this one if I try to enter something else system is not proposing me anything it doesn't allow me to select something else even though if I try to select say a manually type in STS4 then there is an error here at the bottom error is saying shipping point is not defined for this transaction because it's not allowed in the customizing so in this case for example in this scenario we can say that okay this is let me go back let me open this one again with Z1 you can also click on this position position and then click on jump to Z1 straight away so that's the one so I can say that here okay ZZ13 ZZ13 is a proposed one but manually user should be able to select others for example manually user should be able to select SDS4 that's one combination and there's, you can enter more combination user should be able to select say something else just select another one 1710 enter so we got total three selection where 1710 and SDS4 they are the manually selection one but system will default ZZ13 so if I save it and I need to create the order again so that it can refresh the data so if I start again now if I double click on the line item go to the shipping here you can say system again propose that the 13 but here if I open the search box here you got total three options so these three options coming from the customizing as, a, as we said in the customizing 
that ZZ13 should be the proposed one, but there are two more that you should be able to select manually. So that's how we can customize the shipping point determination. But in real time scenario, what happens is mostly is this is the this is always the best combination that STS4 should find STS4, for example. So plant name and shipping point name should be matching. So let me go back. So hope this makes sense. So shipping point coming from soul to party loading group coming from material master record delivering plant we already learned in the previous video coming from one of these default values. Then we can say that okay shipping point default it should be this and alternative should be this and we can add some more alternatives as well. Now there's a trick to remember the shipping point determination especially if you are new to SAP SD or if you're preparing for interview or the certification exam then the best way to remember is to that ship shipping point is equal to SLD so just remember the formula like S SLD so S stands for shipping condition L stands for loading group D stands for delivering plant so that's one of the important question for certification exam and also for the interview so you can memorize like this so that's all about shipping point determination. Thank you very much to watch this.